demons welcome. I have been looking over some of our human files and it has been a cause for some concern. We may have underestimated God in his little creations. Well, there are billions of humans and we have managed to keep the majority in sin. There are too many humans. 50% of our human reproduction is the result of teenage pregnancy, fornication, and adultery. I think that would make us responsible for the high population. So we have created a problem that we need to fix. All over the world, murder and suicide rates have skyrocketed. Homosexuality and bisexuality are also very popular, even in some churches. I think the record will show a massive decline in human reproduction. For every human who dies or gets converted to a contrary lifestyle, a hundred more are born globally. We need to do more. <clears throat> if I may, adolescents spend 1,500 hours watching television and about 900 in school annually. By the time a child reaches elementary, they would have spent, would have watched about 10,000 murders. The figure doubles by the end of high school. And by the time a human reaches 40, they would have spent 10 years watching television. Impressive, but we need to do more. Fellow demons, I want you to seriously consider what we are up against. It is not God's will that any human should perish. He will do everything in his power to save them. It is our duty to make sure that they perish. Am I making myself clear? 50%, no, we have been targeting Christians. We have destroyed their desire for God's word and prayer. Many do not fast or even witness to those that are perishing in the act of sin. We have nullified the effect of the church in the communities. <laughs> and the records of people getting saved have decreased by 64%. I think we're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sleep? Do any of you sleep? Yes. Then we can do more. No demon in this room is supposed to find time to sleep. Now somebody tell me where we stand on our attack of the churches. Well, the leaders are revising their teachings. They're encouraging the members to get back in their word. But what they don't know is less than half an hour spent in the word in any given week, which amounts to 26 hours per year. So they mix the sacred with the profane, hoping that their works will get them into heaven. <laughs> Wonderful. Now we have to find a way to force human reproduction into a massive decline. We are thinking a global recession. Yes, making the cost of living so high that few can afford it, so they live by dishonest means. Exactly. The need for money will be so great and the job opportunities will be so limited that violence will rise to alarming levels all through the country. <laughs> and girls will fly off the market like chewing gum. The prisons will become overcrowded, and the graves will expand themselves like hell itself. <laughs> that should take care of 15% of the population. What else do we have? We can use their bodies against them. Worldwide pornography. We put it on the billboards, we put it in a newspaper. We make this an occupation, even a career. We will make pornography freely accessible to everyone. It will become a way of life for many. Their secret thoughts of fleshly pleasure. <laughs> Nudity is marketable. It is 80% of our population's interests. We start with the mild. A star girl in a daily newspaper wearing nothing at the top. Then we we'll introduce more upon a man's appetite. Sex cannot be satisfied with just having one partner. <laughs> Adultery and fornication will become an acceptable way of life, even in churches. <laughs> the sin of sin will go up into God's nostrils. The atmosphere will be polluted with the things he hates. 
humans would think only of sex. <laughs> Wouldn't that contribute greatly to our problem? Not if there's a way for humans to protect themselves from pregnancy and diseases during sexual activity. Imagine if what would happen if humans can have sex without fear. You're thinking birth control. Yes, protection for both male and female. We will have our products in every shelf. I mean, they will stand out on their own. And best part, it'd be advertised in such a way that even Christians will be convinced. <laughs> and once that's established, childbirth will decrease. And sexual activity will rise. Exactly! Okay, sounds real good so far. What else do we have? Well, there seems to be something else that we notice about the humans over the years. There seems to be great emphasis placed on self. They seem to have forgotten that self-denial is the prerequisite to having a Christ in their life. <laughs> the self. <laughs> it seems to have taken top priority. <laughs> I expected as much. But, but hear me out, hear me out. I think it would be a great thing if we can add more temptation to that area. You know, spice things up a bit. Making materials more attractive to the human eye, that will increase their desires for gain and decrease their passion for God. Humans shall be lovers of themselves rather than lovers of God. They've always preferred instant pleasure above spiritual gain. They place more on themselves than they do anything concerning God. Indeed. But all of these are out of attacks. It is their minds who is control. That is where I come. I will tell you of our inevitable victory. Within the confines of these walls, there exists a secret chamber where there are thousands of deities who have been undergoing extensive training. They have read the human manuscript hundreds of times and have committed the human concepts to their memory. I refer to them as the New Age seducers. How effective are these seducers? They can convince a man to become a woman. They will convince men to kill themselves for no reason at all. They will convince men to have sexual relations with animals. That should turn the heart of heaven. Precisely. Men will turn on each other within their own groups. Church will be against the church, politicians against politicians, and family against family. The seducers can accomplish this? Without a doubt. Once each group is divided, they'll be unable to withstand. There will be some who listen to the voice of God, the minority at best. But the majority of humans will no longer see the need to protect their minds, thanks to our influence in the media, if I do say so myself. They will entertain every thought, every fantasy, every lust. Many will not know who they are or whose they are. And that is a great advantage for us. And on top of that, there has been a significant decline in prayers, in the sister studies of the Holy Scriptures. We have the advantage. It's time we seek our revenge on God for kicking us out of heaven by sending as many humans to hell as we possibly can. So, we go out this time. I do not want to rush God's hand too quickly. I want to savor every single moment. Write that down. I want Jesus to beg for these carnal beings until his heart bleeds out. I want him to watch as his children are reduced to godlessness. I want him to watch as his prized possession choose to fornicate and live adulterous lives. I want him to see the hungry duck of starvation. The widows, orphans, and those in prison go unvisited and purity Sweet purity become a thing of the past. I want him to watch a 12 year old giving birth to a child. And I want him to watch as his precious believers spend hours before television watching our programs, listening to our music, and taking just a moment to wipe the dust from their bodies. And spending hours scrolling on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I want him to watch them turn their backs on him for the pleasures of this life. Best of all, I want to watch him resist his own temptation to destroy 
this world again. Humans have proven time and time again they are beyond redemption. Our victory is inevitable. They will share our fate in hell. Arm yourselves, fellow demons. We go to war. <laughs>